Hey folks, Carrie here. Today, um, well actually this whole weekend, I am testing out the new Tarp Tent Eon Li. I'll give you some of my initial thoughts, what I like, what I don't like, and uh, yeah, just give you a little tour. This is my first time in the backcountry with this tent, but here are my initial thoughts. Uh, I do plan on giving a full review after uh, that, probably the end of 2020, after I get a few hundred miles on this tent. So stay tuned at the end of the year for that. This tent is a little more difficult to set up than my uh, Hexamid, my Z-Pax Hexamid that I had. Um, however, it is more spacious. And uh, hopefully in time I will get better at setting it up. But here are uh, my initial thoughts on what I like and what I don't like about the Tarp Tent Eon Li. So one of the things I really like about this tent is it does have a full vestibule. Uh, my Hexamid from z uh the old one from like 2014, uh, it had a beak and not a full vestibule, so this is definitely an upgrade. I can store my backpack under here without worrying about it getting wet. The vestibule has a clip and some velcro to secure it. You can easily um, unvelcro it. Super easy to roll it up. It has this really nice magnet, um, which at first I thought was kind of a gimmick, but after using it for a bit, I actually kind of like it um, to hold your vestibule in place. It just clips to another magnet in there that's been sewn in. So if you want airflow overnight, you can roll that one side of the vestibule up and still have plenty of room on the uh, other half of the vestibule to store your backpack. Now inside the Eon Li it is a one person um, but there is plenty of room for one person plus um, some gear. Um, if you wanted to be crammed you could throw your backpack in there but I like to just keep it in the vestibule, it gives me tons of room inside the tent. I am using the Cedar Summit Ultralight Insulated Sleeping Pad, a uh, regular size, uh, so a full size. And as you can see, I have some room at the head there, uh, some space, a little bit of space on the side. And then what I really like is I have tons of space down at the foot there which means you know I don't have to worry about my sleeping bag touching the tent at all I know that was a little bit of a problem in my hexamid um, you don't want it touching the side of the tent if there's any condensation especially if it's cold out so I really like that about this tent another thing I really like is uh, there's plenty of storm protection on the back of the tent. That was one thing that was lacking in my Hexamid. I feel a lot more protected in this tent than I did in that tent. One of the things that's different about this tent are these two back corners have these triangles with these carbon fiber struts um, and some no there. Um, it's supposed to allow for some ventilation. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about them yet. That's part of what I have a hard time setting up with. Um, but we'll see over time. And on the center of the back wall, there's a carbon fiber strut, which helps give it this really nice um, straight uh, back wall here, which gives it really great protection and also makes it feel really roomy. I'm on the inside of the tent. Um, here's those uh, little triangle corner vents. 
Uh, you can tighten this if you if it's like really storming out and you feel like you're getting some splash back. Uh, it's really hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea. This is what it looks like all closed up, and it's if you were in a storm and wanted everything all buttoned up really well. So as you can see inside the tent, um, the floor has a really nice high wall and some screening in the back um, with lots of space and gap in between so I'm not worried about getting wet if it's raining, which is great. Same with the uh, back side of the tent. Tons of space uh, between the floor and the back of the wall here with netting so the water, if you had condensation, would just roll down here back to the netting here. Plenty of rain protection. There's also this clip back here to give it more of a bathtub floor, which is what I like. Um, if you weren't afraid of any rain coming in, you can unclip this and the wall will come down giving you more ventilation. Uh, you'd still get rain protection because the wall's way back here and your floor is here. But plenty of storm protection. I think this is going to be more storm protection than my hexamid, which I really like. One other feature on this tent that makes it a little roomy, especially in the center of the tent, is there is this bar here that goes across from here and uh, across to here. Um, so that is also a nice feature, although it does make it a little less packable. There's that center pole there. Your trekking pole goes right up, right up there in front of the door, but not inside the tent. So that's a good thing too. In my hexamid, the tent, uh, the pole, my trekking pole went inside the tent, which was a little annoying. This tent is pretty sturdy, and you don't need to have. A guy line from the top here um, however they do supply you with a spot for one if you know you were in extremely windy conditions but I can't really see the need for it one of the other things I really like about this tent is it has a really small footprint compared to other uh, trekking pole tents it only takes six uh, stakes and as you can see, they're pretty close to the tent body, so you know you don't have this spider web of cord going all over the place. Uh, my hexamid was nice, but it took like eight stakes, and um, the cord was just uh, it took up a lot of space just for the cord. The tent itself didn't take a lot of space, but the cord took a lot of space. Well that's it for now. I hope you guys found this short little video useful. If you got any value out of it, please subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. I'll be sure to give you all an update on this uh, tent's durability and how I feel about it uh, by the end of the year after I get a few hundred more miles on it. So stay tuned for that. What is your favorite tent or what is your favorite tarp? Um, I would love to hear about your favorite tarps and tents uh, down in the comments below. Alright, till next time, happy adventuring!